Hey guys! So, Sarah, you asked us to tell you who our YouTube crushes are. I guess I'll start with the actual potential crushes area before I move on to the people that I just like. So, here we go. Nairmon, Charlie is so cool like, Kick the PJ, and Hexagordal. It doesn't have anything to do with the British part at all. I don't know, I don't think I, there's actually too many YouTubers who I legitimately crush over. I don't like swoon about them or fantasize about them or stalk them. Now, as for YouTubers that I just personally like really enjoy, the Vlog Brothers. Wheezy Waiter, Nanalu, Mika Kitty, I like her. I like her little thing. Tyler Oakley of I Will Say Hoot and I Talk to Snake. And Haley G. Hoover. Hope on a 10 speed. Like Disney Kid 1. Jackson A. Pierce. She is the author of books such as Sisters Red and Sweetly, which hasn't come out yet, but being a part of an awesome book group, I get to read it before it comes out. Yay, I feel awesome. Anyways, she is an author and she is also a YouTuber. And she makes really good videos. I enjoy her a lot. Live Lava Live. Sexy Phil. I'm very on and off with Sexy Phil, but at the moment I'm on, so I'm gonna state Sexy Phil. What Travis says. He did a parody of Kesha's TikTok entitled Nerd, and it's really awesome. I could listen to it like all day. And more recently, he did a cover of Lady Gaga's Born This Way, only it's titled Gallifrey, and it's kind of awesome. Being that I am currently participating in Vlog Every Day in April, I've actually encountered quite a few really awesome vloggers through this because they're awesome. So I figured that I list a few of the ones that I'm really enjoying right here. Bushu37. He's actually pretty good. Katie at large. She talks about books and stuff, which is sweet. Wakeful dreams. Well, she just generally vlogs smart things, and they're really interesting, and they get you thinking. I really like that about her vlogs. NS Nick 88. I hope I said that the way that she wants it to be pronounced. And of course, my dearest real life friend, Stevie. Stevie is not an octopus, being her YouTube name, but. How could I possibly forget all of you guys? I love watching you guys on YouTube. You guys are awesome. Me and Rory once had a conversation where he said that he's not exactly a huge fan of vloggers just because he feels like he's getting to know a fake version of them, like we don't act like ourselves when we're on YouTube. And I will kind of agree to that to an extent. I would put it more as we don't act the way we usually act on YouTube. I kind of feel like we act a lot more like our real selves when we don't have to worry about being judged by anyone. Like, me right now is, in a sense, more me than the usual me that people get to see. And so that is why I really like vloggers, because I kind of feel like you're getting to know a real version of a person rather than the fake version of the person or the censored version of a person. Because I don't feel like I act fake when I'm with other people, I just kind of censor myself. But more importantly, when I'm watching vlogs from people that I actually know in real life, I kind of feel like I'm getting in on a little secret because not everyone who knows you knows that you make vlogs. And whether all of your friends know that you're vlogging or not, I kind of feel like I get to know a little more about you than I would have known otherwise. Because sometimes these things just don't come up in conversation. Whether I know them in real life, or whether I know them online, or whether I just get to kind of contact them through the comments, and we have like little mini two message conversations, those are the kind of YouTubers that I really enjoy, the ones who interact with their viewers, or the ones who I am getting to know a little more about despite kind of already knowing a bit about them. And now that I have filmed for exactly 20 minutes, I'm gonna stop and make this less than 20 minutes so that you guys don't have to sit through all of this. Bye!